And quickly shifting our attention now once again to the big announcements that have come in from the Quad Summit uh, under, which was underway in the United States of America and as India and the US team up for a semiconductor fabrication plant for national security. Back home, there's a political war that's broken out after BJP's Amit Malviya took to social media and said that Kolkata is all set to get a semiconductor fab unit and hopes that Mamta Banerjee doesn't ruin this opportunity. The Chief Minister, Mamta Banerjee herself, has lauded her government for the historic investment. So there are two reactions, interesting reactions that have come in from the TMC and the BJP as far as some of those key initiatives during the Quad Summit are concerned. I want to go across to Pallavi joining us with more details. Pallavi, while there's an admission uh, from Amit Malviya that, you know, we're going to see a semiconductor fab unit in West Bengal, he's also in a sense sending out this message to the, to the TMC. How do we view these two reactions that have come in so far? Yeah, because you know, one thing the BJP has always been saying, and the Prime Minister himself said this, is that Bengal is lagging behind largely not because they never got those opportunities, but because they never wanted to use those opportunities. And that is something which Mamta Banerjee has always rejected. See, one thing the Bengal government has complained, whether it's at the GSC Council meeting, whether it's in those one-on-one -on -one meetings with the Prime Minister, that when it comes to giving us central funds, when it comes to giving funds for infrastructure development in Bengal, they have lagged behind because the BJP has been very selective. They have ignored Bengal and in fact the campaign to run by the TNT during the elections was Gangla Birodi BJP, which means the BJP is against the development of Bengal and the Bengalis. So that stage is clear because we have already seen a huge confrontation between the BJP and the TMT recently over the RG Kaur incident and the BJP really wants to establish its base. This is a huge political messaging going in from the Prime Minister that we do care about Bengal, but it's the Bengal Chief Minister who is resisting or becoming a hurdle to all development. Okay, very interesting, uh, you know, Pallavi, the fact that the BJP, while speaking of this new opportunity for the TMC in West Bengal, is also in a sense sending out a warning that you must not lose out on this opportunity, you must not disappoint the country as you have on several occasions in the past. And do you sense a, uh, a veiled reference to, you know, some of the activities, the corrupt uh, allegations that have been levelled against the TMC in some other cases and what the BJP so senses is a lost opportunity for the party? I think that... I think the BJP and the Prime Minister have been very open about this fact. That is one reason that Bengal is lagging behind in most of the parameters. It is only because of the corruption. The money which should actually go for development has been used up by the TMC, by uh, Mamata Banerjee, and as far as uh, her ministers are concerned. So that siphoning off of funds has been one huge generated push by the BJP. And that is a tongue-in-cheek which comment which is really coming from Amin Palviya, who himself, of course, happens to be the coordinator mm -hmm. as far as Bengal in charge is concerned. So that's the point. They think that we are giving you all the facilities. If you are not able to use them, mm -hmm. then of course you are to blame. Okay. Thanks for that, Pallavi. Let me quickly take in a word from uh, Priyanka Tebrewal of the BJP joining us on the phone line. Uh, Priyanka, you know, what do you make of this war of words, so to say, that has uh, erupted between the BJP and the TMC? Amit Malviya taking to social media, in a sense, sending out a warning to the TMC, suggesting that they must not uh, lose out on this opportunity, even before we've seen this big development take place, shape up in West Bengal. Too soon, wouldn't you say? See, this is not any kind of a warning, but mm. as we are aware of uh, the nature and activities of uh, the Trinamool Congress, uh, of the Trinamool, government here in West Bengal. So that is the reason we can uh, just foresee what is going to happen. Every time when any opportunity knocks the door here in West Bengal, it is never welcomed by the uh, Chief Minister, although she's saying in words. But here also you can very well understand from her uh, tweet that she, uh, she's trying to show and, you know, trying to take credit for uh, programs which were held in uh, uh, Kolkata and uh, what she has uh, done. So actually this is nothing but it is our Prime Minister's uh, effort which is bringing in some kind of now work and jobs will be there for West Bengal. So this is another great opportunity and we are welcoming it. But we would also once again like to state that uh, hopefully we are hoping that Mamata Banerjee will not create any uh, hustle in this and that uh, job opportunities will be open hmm. for uh, yeah, youngsters and uh, uh, okay. boys and uh, men in West Bengal. Okay, Ms. Tibriwal, don't you think you know a political exchange such as this uh, right after the big announcement that came in from both uh, President Joe Biden and Prime Minister Narendra Modi quite belittles the very purpose or the idea behind going ahead with such a huge collaboration. 
be every time, like I've told you, even in the past, we have witnessed that big industrialists were uh, shown they uh, shown a back here in West Bengal. Hmm. Tata had to run away from West Bengal because this government did not allow them to bring in the factory over here. So this is nothing new for West Bengal. That is why once again we are saying that this is a big opportunity which the central government is now bringing into West Bengal, hmm. and that the state government should welcome it with folded hands. Okay. All right, uh, Priyanka, you know, the TMC, of course, has come out to say that this is a great opportunity, that we're really looking forward to this uh, semiconductor fab facility in Kolkata, in uh, West Bengal. And as is, we do see the TMC really not take on the BJP. They're seeing this uh, as an opportunity. Uh, like I said, the BJP is taken to social media already to say that, look, you have set the wrong precedence in the past. Let's not see that uh, shape up once again. Uh, the timing of it all is also being questioned by the TMC in a way. What would you say to that? That is exactly what I am saying because in the past there are incidents of TMC doing the same. So like I said, that for the development of West Bengal, this is a great opportunity and that in no kind of an ego should uh, the uh, Trinamool or uh, Mamata Banerjee try to blow this. It is uh, once again a great opportunity for the people of Bengal and she should welcome it because we are seeing that, you know, Although Mamata Banerjee has conducted various business summits and many industrialists have participated here, but nobody invested in West Bengal because of the kind of political scenario in West Bengal. Okay. So here, uh, keeping everything on the side, when central government has uh, uh, brought this initiative here, mm. she should welcome it. Hmm. She, of course, seems to be taking some sort of credit in this opportunity that Kolkata has been trusted with and says, I assure all support to the emerging investment in this frontier sector and let West Bengal be the true destination for knowledge-based industries. Let's see how the TMC responds to this one coming in from Amit Malviya. Priyanka, many thanks for speaking to us here on CNN News 18. We quickly now shift our attention to another reaction that